everybody in this video I'll give you a recommendation uh what in my opinion is going to be the best settings to use for your graphic settings uh i mean everybody's going to have their own preferences depends on the hardware but those who actually have very strong impact on performance you should consider playing with them uh, first if you want to see the significant improvements before you're doing others so first of all the thing is resolution if you're to displays for example connected one is high resolution of course low resolution will lead to better performance and it's up to you to decide if you want to play for example on 4k or maybe you decide after testing it's better or playing with a different display that has lower resolution and see if it can work with higher display or lower display it's up to you to decide right so first of all leave a uh, frame cap off um you can just uh, you can resolve motion uh, uh, blur i just put it on weak but you can turn it off and the first thing i recommend doing is doing apply recommended graphic settings to see what the game recommends and this is a base test test the benchmark see how frame how much frames you're going to get on average uh, and from that point on see what you can improve now for me i'm using nvidia 3070 ti uh, and basically the game recommends using fsr although it does support also dlss um, but i realized that with fsr i get close to what i get with dlss however if i put frame generation on i'm getting much higher frame rates so this is something to consider if you can really get into the 60 and above consider using fsr and turning it on when you're using uh, also super if you choose super resolution it's up to you to decide how much you want if you want less impact on visual quality put it first on 100 and then go down and by the way if you're choosing dlss uh it doesn't have a drop down like some other games basically you directly control the slider and if you look at the right it's going to tell you the quality All right so when you start with dla and then if you reduce it we have quality balance and performance why this of course will lead to some artifacts of course because again the resolution is reduced but should be provided with some really good visuals as well but again with uh, better performance again lower sorry lower quality but still looking good but with faster frame rates why right, the other thing is ray tracing i recommend putting ray tracing at the last thing unless again you're using i don't know 4080 4090 but again if you still want to test things out leave it off test things first see if you have enough room to put uh, ray tracing because you're probably going to also test it out with different levels of ray tracing all right so we have low medium very high all right so you need to restart by the way the app to take effect and probably the game when the game is out so I recommend testing first without ray tracing and then with regarding graphic settings uh again we have presets but I usually prefer kind of a fine winning things for myself. Basically, um, the things that really affect uh, the performance are going to be uh, shadow quality. It's also said here, significantly impact performance. It has also the visual effect quality, quality significantly impact performance, as you can see. Also, hair quality, it says significantly impact performance. So, you might want to consider uh, reducing those. Also, uh, anti-aliasing, of course, will also affect performance, but this is what the game actually mentions. Again, this is running, of course, Unreal Engine 5. So we want to reduce those and see how it affects the performance. Also, global illumination, uh, illumination quality. And to be honest, I'm going to show you my test in a moment. I actually checked the... Uh, reduced the vegetation quality, uh, but I didn't notice a big difference. or just left it at high. Also, drawing distance reduce it didn't see significant improvement and same goes to the texture quality and the thing is i think because of the nanites uh technology of the unreal engine 5 it's really well optimized so again when you get closer to object you're going to see more details when you get further away from them uh you see less and it's so well optimized in that aspect that you can really work with some high settings without really a very very strong impact on performance which is great and I'm also quite surprised how good the game looks on the lower setting, which you're going to see right now. Let's put the uh, first on DLSS, for example, it's around 70, which is quality. And by the way, based on these settings, I would prefer playing on uh, FRS rather than DLSS. It just works better overall with frame generation. 
So the thing that I noticed, by the way, first is the water that seems very blurry. Uh, otherwise, all the other ones, uh, except if you're getting very close, you notice that. But still, from relatively close distance, it looks good. It's just the water looks a bit off uh, when I use it on the lowest graphic settings. By the way, ignore the performance. I actually use 70 just for the sake of uh, having good frame rate so we can actually see it. But of course, it will be improved even more if you use uh, DLSS at uh, highest graphic settings. So it, it won't reduce the resolution. And again, the good news is even on low settings, it looks really nice. And that's great. Uh, so for those of you on a lower uh, hardware specifications and see myself, or oh, I'm going to play maybe on low, how good it will be of course we're going to switch between different uh, settings there don't just go lowest and that's it you can actually improve and go on high uh, and medium and certain ones that have more effect on the visual fidelity all right the next one we're going to check on medium so when it comes to medium i already see uh, a difference uh, in the water it looks decent it's still not great but looks decent but otherwise, when looking at everything, it looks kind of similar to me. Uh, and you know, there's so much details in the environment that I think that your eyes just capture kind of a things as a whole. So you're not really bothered with some, you know, some slight improvements or even more significant improvement. It just looks good on low and looks great on medium as well. But you can really, cannot really tell very, very detail the differences. It just looks good on both of them. Yeah, so overall I did feel that, you know, it's a little more to a slightly more cinematic feeling with the barrel lighting. But overall, really, it was hard to tell. So again, when it comes to lighting with these games, uh, for me it's important. So basically I prefer kind of optimized thing for good lighting rather than not. Alright, we are going high uh, graphic settings. If you're like me and like way, I can see difference. You know, that's what I told you. It looks really great on low. Uh, I'm probably gonna push for medium because it seems like kind of a the sweet spot general. And then I'm gonna play with the other things up and down. Depends on performance. I can get much better performance than this, by the way, if I do it on uh, FSR. Uh, which I'm probably gonna do. Or we're gonna go DLSS with performance. We'll see. Still looks great. And this is side by side. All right, and back to high. Yeah. So to be honest with you, after seeing that, and again, checking myself, and of course, I'm sure many of you will spot other things that I don't, but that's the way I observe the scene here. Uh, looks great on low, looks better on medium slightly better for medium to high anyway maybe i'm getting old <laughs> all right very high graphic settings and right, again this is dlss and not on 100 percent So what I'm saying is that even if you play it on lower graphic setting, it's still going to look great. I don't know it will apply, of course, to so many other things in the game. I'm just judging it based on the, on the benchmark tool, on these scenes. So it might be different. And of course, I didn't play the whole scene. 
but this area actually with the lighting and the characters and the water was actually important for me I mean I would say as immersive as other ones from I think medium looks great all right, let's move to Ultra. I'm sorry, not Ultra, Cinematic. <laughs> uh, let's take a look. Now, I have to be honest with you. When I first saw it, I was like, "What? Well, that, that's it? That's what? I mean, what? I mean, where, where, where is the difference? That's that's how I was when I first uh, saw it. I mean, I was expecting like a huge difference or something, but no. Again, just me looking at Ultra and like, well. Looks the same as medium to me. I mean, I thought I'm going to notice a big difference when it comes to the lush environment, which I actually really love in these type of games. Uh, but still, other ones look really good as well. It's not like it's stripped down trees and so many things out that it's going to look plain or something. I think that's the beauty of what Unreal Engine 5 can do. Uh, it can put lots of things in the scene and so will optimize that you don't really need to do a really big reduction of uh, 3d elements to the objects in the scene to make it work forget about the firm here of course it's pretty bad all right just going to show you a few things we're going to go uh, this time with fsr instead nvidia dlss with frame generation on still on 7 and 70. And this is still running on cinematic and you can see the frame rate significantly improved here right so cinematic no ray tracing just cinematic uh, and on my setup it significantly improved of course they're going to see some artifacts here and there but overall again because this scene is so complex you don't really pay a lot of attention to it it still looks good all right let's change it now to high settings Right, am I getting like uh, like eight frames per second extra by doing so? So it can run close to a uh, 60 FPS here. Again, this is on uh, high graphic settings. So basically, on my setup, possibility to run everything on high with FSR on and frame generation to get around the 60 but you see it actually drops but again this is what you should do you should even want if you want to say for example stay with this setup you need to optimize it a bit with the other settings all right let's go now super resolution still assess now but lower uh the super resolution so you might get any lower results so if i look at the results and again the, the dlss is cleaner to my eyes especially by the way in the water area which I see, I've seen quite a lot of artifacts there but both of them are playable to my eyes so this is why I told you that it seems like I prefer like going with FSR uh, it just provided faster frame rate results overall and quite significant so I try to find a sweet spot and reduce things that I think that I should be okay with but still they impact the performance quite a bit and lower things to medium maybe some low and see based on what I want if I can actually uh, make it work for me I mean, from a graphics card again 3070 Ti and this is the point where I actually download uh, sorry reduce several settings but well I'm not actually getting faster results <laughs> I was quite surprised and then I realized well not all the results have really significant impact on performance and basically I prefer even staying with them rather than sacrificing them because we are not getting a lot in return so I tried the same result with FSR just increasing it a bit and see how it looks and it looks good to my eyes and I'm getting here uh, you can see 76 FPS and this is great usually you want to have a bit more of course uh, like even 10 extra just in case you have some dips so you want really dips into the 40 or 50 so you can still stay at 60 FPS so having around uh, 70 plus, preferably 75, uh, I think I'm going to be good to go with this game. As long as I like what I see here and hopefully it will look good in the game as well.
I mean, it looks beautiful, relatively clean, smooth, textures are good. There are dips as you can see, I'm dipping here. But overall again, I told you, if there are dips, I, want, I don't want to get dips into the below 60. I want to float a bit even more from the 60. So I made a few changes like with the distance quality and also for uh, texture quality. I reduced it, I want to see if such a big difference. Vegetation quality reduced. And to my surprise, well, more or less the same. Yeah, this was quite surprising because I was expecting uh, something more significant. And that's, uh, I realized, well, I can actually stay with what I was before, not sacrificing it, but still, still being in the good range around the 70, 70 FPS. The thing is that the higher you go, the more things kind of blend together better and don't look a bit more separate the object and the game in a way. That's why I felt, but it's not significant. All right. So basically it gives me lots of room to breathe when it comes to using uh, FSR. I'm changing a few things even to high. Well, again, getting very decent frame rate. So it seems to me the game is very well optimized, to be honest, generally speaking. So I was kind of worried. Uh, probably going to play, but we're on the PlayStation 5 anyway, but we need to wait and see. Um, I'm going to decide <coughs> in a few days. Yeah, so basically that's it. So you can see it's just about toying around with different settings. Uh, don't be afraid to stay on something higher. It seems that the game is well optimized to do well, uh, even in some high settings. Uh, just pay attention to those settings that the game says that has significant impact on performance and try to tackle them first and see the impact and if you accept the image quality and see the frame rate and then again change it a bit more. So again it's really dependent on your hardware and what you like to see and what you don't like to see and that's why you need to do it yourself until you find the right sweet spot for your hardware and for your liking. Thanks for watching.